it's time to do something about this. Greensboro City Council members have heard your complaints and seen firsthand the problem of shopping carts in the middle of streets and on sidewalks. Good afternoon. Welcome. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Michael Hennessy. And now council members, they're talking about changing the ordinance to get this problem under control. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims joining us live now. And Aaliyah, it didn't take you very long to find some carts from one of your favorite stores just scattered all over the place, huh? Well, Michael, I spotted abandoned carts in at least 10 different areas during my drive along Wendover Avenue. Right now, I'm at the bus stop on Lenata Road, and this was sitting here when I arrived. Now, the problem is people worry that one of these can roll into the street, and it's an eyesore, and city leaders, they're spending money to collect them. Shopping carts are the latest litter in Greensboro. Fox 8 cameras spotted them on sidewalks with wood and rusty nails, at bus stops, on medians, and outside businesses they clearly did not come from. No matter where you live in Greensboro, you will see a shopping cart sometime today um, in a place where it just shouldn't be. I spotted two on a concrete island at the intersection of 40 and Wendover. Quite frankly, on the weekends, I sometimes will get very frustrated because as I'm driving around, I start counting carts that are just left in random places. That frustration fueled a Thursday afternoon conversation among city council members about how to fix the problem before someone gets seriously hurt. It's not intended to be applied to homeless people. Um, it's applied to anybody because it's not just homeless people who borrow carts. Um, people who want to move stuff borrow carts or people find carts and further move them. It can roll into the street at any given moment, um, cause an accident. Tracy Mills Howell is a regular shopper in the West Wendover area. She sees carts misplaced all the time. This is pretty common. Uh, first, I get frustrated when they're left in the in the parking spaces and sometimes they roll and can ding some cars, but to see them on the side of the road is, is disturbing. I found two Target shopping carts in the parking lot of this Comfort Inn on Lenata Road Friday afternoon. One hotelier said after one weekend he had 20 of those shopping carts on his property. Tracking them down and collecting them is not an easy process. Greensboro city leaders are looking at mandating a cart removal, prevention and retrieval plan for medium to large businesses. So the purpose of this ordinance is for our retailers to create a plan to prevent removal and to provide for recapturing uh, of their shopping carts when they go off site. They talked about using technology that would tell you when the carts were removed from the property and where they are. As a business, you would have a day and time to retrieve them. It's something Tracy hopes to see implemented soon. It would be uh, responsible if we put them back where they belong. Now, the chief deputy city attorney says the best solution would be for retailers to use electronic measures so they can monitor where those carts are and where when they leave the property. Then send someone to collect the missing carts. Further discussion about this and penalties for not doing so is expected to take place later this month. Live in Greensboro, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News. Sounds like a